Now, I guess before we really get started, there's a couple things I want to clarify just for my knowledge and then for those who, who listen to the interview and, and, and read the interview. What do you really, how do you uh, describe what you guys do? Is it an impersonation? Is it a tribute? Is it a cover band? I mean, because all those can be kind of different and dynamic. I mean, how do you label that? It's really a tribute, um, you know, to the music of Queen, but, but creating the, the essence of what a Queen show would have been like with Freddie, you know, the, the, the lighting and the staging and and the music, you know, and, and the stage costume and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's trying to portray that sort of Queen vibe that, that obviously was there when, when, you know, when, when Freddie was alive and when, when Queen were a, were a touring entity. So really the title, One Night of Queen, really does sum it up what people are going to get. I mean, it does exactly what it says on the tin. I mean, it is, it's a two-hour rock concert. You know, we get people coming along uh, uh, thinking sometimes that it's maybe just a little musical with some, some numbers and a bit of chat and stuff, but it's not. It's just I mean, it's a full-on rock concert. You see people sometimes in the audience going, oh my God, don't expect this. You know, because it's, it's quite high, it's very high energy, you know, and, and, and obviously it's all the hits and it's quite dynamic. So, yeah, it's, it is pretty much a, it's, it's a rock concert, you know, and, and in a performing arts centre or, or an auditorium or in an outdoor venue, you know, it's because Queen obviously were, were a stadium rock band, so we're bringing stadium rock pretty much to, to a performing arts centre type venue to, out, you know, with the lights, the sound and, and, and the full I suppose the full show. Now, I know you've had a, a chance to meet a member or two of the original Queen band. Have they had a chance to see the performance at all, or had a chance to, to watch what you guys do? I know, I know, Brian, um, Brian and Roger saw um, video footage of us. I mean, obviously, Brian knew all about me and and and, my, and the band as well, and uh, invited me to the last Queen Paul Rogers tour. Um, I, I went as his personal guest, which was amazing, you know, it was awesome to, to go along in a bit kind of Wayne's worldy, you know, sort of walking in and there he is and he's speaking to me and I'm just like, well, okay, it's bright me, <laughs> thanks for inviting me, you know, so yeah, they, they know what we do um, uh, and they seem cool with it, you know, and obviously we, if we have any, you know, press or market materials or any posters that we are putting out, we, you know, we send it to, to, to their estate and say, hey, you guys cool with this, you know, because we don't want to upset them. Um, to get approval so that it, it, it will not upset the memory of Freddie or the memory of Queen or the estate in any way. So yeah, they, they seem to take what we do, which, is, which I'm very, very pleased about. It sounds like you guys have really um, tried hard to really not only just represent the band, but represent who they are personally too. Yeah, I mean, cause, I mean first and foremost, I'm a Queen fan and I always have been a Queen fan. So this is a fan paying tribute for other fans. You know, it's not just like, you know, we're not just a group of guys you know, going around the world just, just, you know, making a fast buck. It, it is done with passion and done, you know, correctly. It's done, you know, as, as Queen would play the music, it's played with feeling, it's played, you know, with passion. It's not just five guys on stage sort of staring at our watches and reading sheet music. It, it's a real proper rock performance, you know, and, and, and that's how it has to be. That's because that's what Queen fans expect. That's what I would expect if I went to see another show. I want to see the high energy. I want to see, you know, be involved in it, sing along, you know, Go and play a guitar and, and just go crazy. Talking about it from a fan perspective, how do you first of all choose what songs to to put into the concert, and, and which ones do you think you find that the fans really really want? Is it the older stuff? Is it the the radio hits? I mean, what do people kind of gravitate toward? Well, obviously the older hits, you know, things like Fat Bottom Girls, you know, We're the Champions, We All Rock You, massive hits in America, and we've we've actually this time because we've always kind of played, you know, which we start in Europe usually in January and by the time we get to America it's sort of mid-February sort of and, and we've, we've kind of played most of the European hits but then we've realised that some hits that were hits in Europe weren't necessarily hits in America so over this year as we wrote to sort of past Queen set list and said right what would they play in America what went down well but what also we're doing as well is we're giving you know album cuts from, from albums like Innuendo and, and you know and the Miracle albums that they never actually physically toured and this is what, and that's the things that are going down really well with the Queen fans because I say, my God, we've never really heard innuendo played before because they never played it. Things like the show must go on, and even stuff like a kind of magic, which wasn't a big hit in America. We play that as well, as well as all the things like say fat bottom girls and stuff. So yeah, people, we're trying, we're trying to basically show an audience, especially if it's newcomers, and we've got a lot of young kids coming to the show now that, that you know, this is what Queen were. I mean, they had so many albums, and we're trying to you know take songs from each album and, and hits and album tracks and put them all together and, and show the full 
spread for what Queen were because you know they were such a diverse band and we're trying to show the diversity um, in, in, you know, in the show. Well, we're excited about the show. It's going to be here, obviously, March 27th. It's a Sunday night at the Music Hall at Fair Park. And So uh, have you played Dallas before? Have you guys had a chance to do this on any previous tours? We played Richardson last year, um, and, and we actually had a few days off in Dallas, which was great, really, really good fun. Actually, we have a fan club, and a fan club president actually lives in Dallas. Um, and when we were there last year, um, the governor actually made myself and Billy a bass player honorary Texans which was pretty cool because he came to see us the year before we played in uh, I think it was Austin we played and he, he came along Governor Perry came along to the show it turned out it was his birthday and he's a big Queen fan so this year that, that last year previous we got these um, honorary Texan decrees through which was like wow you know this is, this is pretty cool stuff because we do love coming to Texas you know we've we played so many shows there that you know last year and we're kind of bummed out this is the only show we're playing in Texas this year but we're going to make it you know, a special show because, you know, the, the, Texas, the Texas people have really taken the show to their hearts and we're, we're just going to go out and just have a damn good time. We do uh, hope you guys have a, you know, a safe tour between now and then and we look forward to seeing you on the 27th and I know it's an off day for you so I appreciate you taking taking that time to spend it with us. No problem, I'm just powering down my room so it's not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Well, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thanks a lot, Matt.